Hello and welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. In the studio today, we have a Squire by Fender Classic Vibe 60s Mustang Short Scale Bass. Let's check it out. I had received several requests to do a demonstration of this bass, so thanks so much for watching and commenting and leaving a request. This 1960s inspired Mustang bass features a NATO body, a maple neck, with an Indian laurel fingerboard. It has a four bolt bolt on design. The finish on this one is the Olympic white with the tortoiseshell pickguard. It has a very attractive looking vintage tint uh, to the neck. And it has a Fender made Mustang style humbucking pickup here. This particular bass also has the uh, more traditional Mustang style bridge uh, with string through body. And the electronics are completely passive. The controls are just volume and tone. Let's see how this bass sounds. Let's first start with the master volume all the way up and the tone knob all the way down. Let's roll that tone up to about 25%. Tone knob at about 50. Let's roll that tone knob up to about 75%. Now let's roll that tone knob wide open. Now let's hear this bass up with a drum track and we'll see how it sits with the drums. Through this playing example, we're gonna run through uh, the same tone knob uh, positions. We'll start with the tone at zero then a 25, then a 50, 75, and then 100. Here we go.
I hope you enjoy some of the tones from that playing example. Please leave some comments below and let me know what you think. Now let's talk about some of the good things I like about this bass. I think the 30 inch scale is uh, it's very comfortable to play and I'm certainly uh, quite used to playing this scale bass myself. It's a pretty comfortable neck, but one thing I think you need to be uh, aware of is the nut width is advertised as being 1.5 inches. And that's smaller than a typical Mustang bass from the 1960s. Historically, those Mustang basses from the 60s had a 1.625 inch nut width. So this is smaller. This neck actually feels even smaller than my player PJ series Mustang. And when I measured it, the nut width was actually one and three eighths inch. So it's even smaller than 1.5 inches as advertised. But overall, it's a pretty slim and comfortable neck to play. The weight of this bass came in at 8.75 pounds. So overall, that's still a pretty lightweight bass. However, for a 30 inch scale, short scale bass, that's leading towards the heavier side. Now let's talk about some of the things that I either don't like or I'm not sure about. Let's go back to the neck. I find the vintage tint on this neck to be very beautiful. Uh, and it's just, it looks great. However, it is a high gloss finish neck and my preference would be to have uh, either a semi-gloss or a more matte finish uh, on the back of my necks because I do uh, find the high gloss finish to be a bit on the stickier side. Another issue I want to point out with this bass is this pickup. This is a Fender uh, made Mustang style bass and that's different than the Japanese models which feature Seymour Duncans. Overall, I think the tone from this pickup is, is pretty reasonable, but what I will say is, this is quite a bit noisier than some of my other Mustang basses. Now, my studio typically isn't that uh, bad for electric magnetic noise, uh, but this pickup in this studio today was a bit on the noisier side. Allow me to demonstrate. So I have the volume and the tone knob all the way up, and I'm just gonna put the bass down here on the floor. Now, if you're listening to this uh, with headphones or on quality speakers, you can clearly hear that hum. The good news, however, uh, is that the bridge is uh, grounded. So if you put your fingers on it, the noise does go away. This may be relevant depending on where you play, uh, the type of stages you play on, and what type of lights are around you. Um, but this particular pickup is noisier than uh, the Seymour Duncan, and is definitely noisier than my PJ Mustang. And that's something to keep in mind. Who is this bass for? This bass is for the player who wants a more classic Mustang bass look. Uh, with the Mustang style pickup, the more uh, historically accurate bridge uh, and a string through body. This is quite different than the uh, Fender offered PJ player series because one of the biggest criticisms of this bass uh, was the historic inaccuracies of it. And some of uh, the comments have been, it kind of looks like a Mustang bass, but it's not really a Mustang bass. Um, so if you are after that more kind of vintage look, then this may be uh, the base for you. What I will say though is with this pickup and this bridge design, you are less able to modify it because uh, there, there are just fewer Mustang style pickups available uh, as a drop-in replacement. Uh, and aside from this bridge, there are really not very many replacement bridge options for you at all. Overall, for the money, I think it's a pretty solid contender if you are looking to get into short scale basses. I would be 
Uh, cautious, however, if you are truly after a 1960s spec type bass, this is not it. The neck dimensions are very different than a vintage 1960s uh, Fender Mustang. But if you are looking for an economical way to get into short scale Mustang basses, put this one on your list. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.